What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of everything home services coming to you with another video. Uh, today I'll be talking about the Tesco wireless um, gauges, um, the, the probes. So I have a unit that is tripping on low pressure. So what I want to do is I want to confirm that it's not a sensor that's bad, um, but it's actually um, the unit really is low. So I'm going to put some testo gauges on them and, uh, and see what it says when I clear that alarm and turn it on and see if it's matching me what the unit says. So I figured I would bring you along with me. I've been using the Tesco gauges for um, the wireless probe and the gauge. They have the gauge set and the wireless probe. And, and um, those, you need the wireless ones for, well... It's helpful to have the wireless ones for these units because the units are under pressure, so positive pressure. So anyway, I figure I have you tag along with me. As you can see, this unit is in alarm. So you press the alarm button there, and let's see if you can really get a good. There, see it says compressor two, low pressure. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, going to hook these gauges up and verify that it's actually reading low pressure or make sure it's not a sensor that's bad. Okay, like I said, I'll be using the Testo here. And so you can see it, many of you know about the Testo already, but I figure I'll open it up and start from the beginning somewhat for those who are not familiar with it. And um, this is what, you have a lot, of, a long line of Testo equipment. This is the temperature probes and the gauges. So uh, the wireless gauges, of course they have the wireless gauge set, but I like these because you lose less refrigerant using these because they're not going all into a um, into the holes. And they have two different ones. This, this app right here, the refrigeration app is for the the gauge set that I have though, the Testo gauge set. All right, yep, you can see it says 14A. All right, so. I'm going to turn on first. Let's see. I'm going to turn on the gauge for the suction line. So turn it on as you can see. See it flashing. I already have it synced. And you will see it show up over here in just a minute. Let's see. There we go. See now it's starting to read since I have my Bluetooth turned on. Now see this side right here. You see where it says 1.9 and it's not zeroed out. And that's saying for the suction probe here. So only thing I have to do to, to zero it out is go to settings right here. And then it says zero pressure sensor. And I click that and hit continue. Now, there you go. See, it's zeroed out. Okay, so I'm going to hook up the... Um, the low side pro gauge, whatever you want to call it, to the suction line. And these are, by the way, the Testo 5, as you can see, Testo 549i. All right, so, and then I'll get you, I don't think you can see here where I'm hooking it up to. So I'll be hooking it up to the suction line right there, to this compressor, and the discharge line. I would like to let you hook it up to the liquid line, but there's not a port on the liquid line. And also the, the sensor here is reading from here to here. Um, so that's why I'll be hooking up to, to verify. So, but it's low side, not the high side. This is high side. It's saying low pressure. So, all right, let's put the suction on here. The low side gauge on the suction line. Then I'm gonna put the high side right here. And I'm gonna get a little bit back from that, a little bit more than I got from, from the suction line. And like I said, no, I'm gonna lose a low loss fitting on here. Um, I really should, but I'm not, there we go. That wasn't much. So, now, I don't, I really just was gonna check pressure, but I figured I might as well check temperature while I'm here. I'll throw this on here. Okay, family, as you can see, the unit compressor two didn't come on because you can see the pressures. Now let's see if the pressures match up with what the unit's saying they are. All right, so it's saying that the 
suction pressure is 145. I don't know if you can see that. 145. And over here it's saying the suction pressure is 139. So let's go to the second EXV. 143. Okay, it's still saying 138. Alright. That's not. So right now it's not low pressure. That's not in low pressure alarm. That's not low pressure. So I am just gonna keep my eye on it and let it run for a few minutes here. See if we see any changes. This is telling me that this is one is compressor one. That's circuit one for compressor one. That's circuit two for compressor two. That's circuit three and circuit four is not on. Matter of fact, circuit three and four are not on. So just one and two are on right now. So as you can see, we're talking about circuit two. So the liquid pressure for circuit, according to the unit is 369. According to the probe, Tesla is 376. So it's a slight difference, but this may be reading faster than this. Basically, the whole point of the video family was one to show you guys the Tesla. Uh, the Testo Pro. No, I'm not a Testo representative, but I have been using these pros for years. And uh, I bought these pros, not just to the set I have a personal set and a set for work. Uh, my personal set is for you know my business that I use, and this set is for uh, the company that I do work for on the commercial side, on the commercial side of the house. So I'm a, I, I like the Testo. I'm not saying that they're better than any other, but I've used them. And I like them. And I normally, before I give a review on something, or you know, show y'all like to try it out, or even let you see me trying it out. But in this particular case, uh, you hear that? Boom, that's the third compressor that just came on, the third circuit. So, and as you can see, the pressure's starting to rise. Now, what I'm going to take a look at as this keeps running, I'm going to look and see as these compressors come on, if this pressure starts to drop over here for circuit two because it should cut out circuit three or four before at low pressure so i'll check that out okay youtube family so check this out i just want to share this situation with you um and remember i said that compressor number two had the alarm all right so i traced out the wires this wire right here runs all the way to that uh low pressure switch well to the pressure switch uh, and um, this is supposed to run to this pressure switch to compressor number two. But when I trace this thing out, it's running to the pressure switch to compressor number four. So two is running. And remember I showed you the pressure earlier how two is running and running well. But uh, I noticed that, that when compressor four came on, that's when compressor two turned off and tripped on low pressure. So I'm going to show you something here. So I am going to, instead of enabling the system, I'm just going to briefly put it in. I'm going to push this relay in. By pushing this relay in for, for compressor number four, it's going to engage compressor number four contact. So watch the pressure when I do that. Pushing it in now. See, look at the pressure dropping. Now the unit is in alarm and I'm going to let that go. So I let it go and it's going to climb back up and, and neutralize. But I am press this alarm and it says, I would get closer to see. And it says still compressor to low pressure. So this is not wired up correctly and it's frustrating. Because all this tracing out I did, all this troubleshoot, trying to find out it's not even wired correctly from the factory. So I have to call the factory up and see how we can resolve this wiring issue and go from there. But we do have a compressor that is low on gas and that's compressor four, not compressor two. 
like you were saying. All right, YouTube, I just wanted to give you an update and to the video. Thank you for taking the moment out to check out the video. Have a blessed day.